So at the beginning of their career, many tier two consultants have tried to initially apply at McKinsey, BCG or Bain. However, um, have unfortunately not made it through the process. And some other tier two consultants uh, noticing at some point in their uh, career that they are not in the environment that enables them to thrive to an extent they have imagined for their career. So, I mean, um, don't get me wrong. There is absolutely nothing wrong to work for a T2 consultancy, as long as you are satisfied with this. However, the truth is also many of the couple of hundred tier two consultants I spoke to are not. And there might likely many more out there that share this feeling. And the truth is also that despite experienced tier two consultants have some significant advantages over their competition out of uh, industry and university and during the interview process, they often still fail miserably in their try to break in um, into McKinsey, PCG or Bain eventually. And the reason for this is often that they um, all thought uh, they have collected many valuable experiences and cracked some tough client problems. They do not know how to frame their experiences in a way that is convincing to McKinsey, BCG um, or Bain. So uh, that means if you have been a top performer at a tier 2 consultancy, you have theoretically most of the traits needed to also perform within McKinsey, BCG or Bain. However, if you are like the vast majority of applicants, you might have significant trouble to show this and convince your interviewer from it. So please do yourself a favor and research on what the tier two consultancies um, differentiates from the MBBs and make sure you frame your experiences in a way that they also fulfill what McKinsey BCG and Bain are looking for in candidates. And please make sure to use the right sources for your research, as most of what I've seen online is unfortunately neither to the point nor very helpful, uh, giving you actionable recommendation for you to follow. Think about it.